My body is weak and I can't pray. I like them to pray and sleep. I want to. I want to do you know that you can break out from that portal? You can break through. You can break into the prophetic. You can break into the prophetic and do great and mighty things. Before we start, I want to tell you that God' desire is that you will do well. And if you have not subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to subscribe so that this message will reach out to people. Now that I want to, I want. What will you do? What What can I do that when I I find myself in situation that my body is weak and I can't pray? I lie down to pray and sleep calm. I lie down to pray. I can't raise my head because the body is weak. What will I do? What can I do that time? What will I do? There are things that you can do this particular time. This particular time, you are the one that you are going to kickstart yourself. You are the one that you are going to kickstart yourself. You are going, you are going to be the one to start it because the, Jesus said that the body is weak but the spirit is willing. Since the spirit is willing, you have the advantage of rising in the spirit. And don't forget Roman chapter it said to all the, the, the when we are weak in that infirmity, in that our very hour, we know not what to pray. But our spirit that dwells in us help us to pray because that time is time of infirmity. So you kneel down to pray, you find ourselves that as you kneel down to pray, you will sleep off. So you don't have to kneel down to pray that time. What you need to do is to stand. And you find out that if you stand, your body is weak. You need to do something. You need to shake off those things. You begin to worship God. You begin, you raise your voice. Sometimes maybe the environment you are living might be somehow but you, you need to, because you want to break through into the prophetic, you need to break into the realm of the supernatural. We are things happen. We are, you can easily connect to God. So what do you do? You reject the natural phenomenon. You reject the, the things of the nature that speak against you from entering into the spirit. You resist them. You begin to tell yourself, no, I must pray. And you begin to do something. Sometimes maybe the body is weak and you want to pray. And you find out that you can't pray. You can even pour water on your body and you start your prayer. You can pour water on your face and you start your prayer. Make sure that you do something to do, to enter into the realm of the spirit because there are times that uh, as a body is weak like that, the enemy is ahead to, to use that advantage over your body. But you must not give the enemy the room to have that advantage. So you do what you try the possibility that you can to break into the spirit. Don't forget Jesus said the spirit is willing but the body the body is weak. The body is weak. The enemy always have the advantage of using the body. So you don't have to give that enemy the chance because you are born to succeed. So you tell yourself, no, I might be weak in the body, but I stand to pray. I might be weak in my mind, but I want to pray. I don't want to lose hope. I don't want to be, be frustrated. I want to enter into the realm of this week. As you begin to pray, as you begin to pray, you might be praying little. You might be praying little. That is why it's very good for someone, a child of God, to be born again to the extent that his Holy Ghost feet. And by the time you know, you begin to worship God in the Spirit and you begin to speak in tongues. And as you do that, before you know, you begin to draw near. The signal from heaven begin to draw because the strength of heaven will begin to proceed and come. By the time you know, you shoot into it and you enter into the ring and you begin to pray. You begin to pray. <laughs> and when the portal opens, you enter, you find yourself in, in the realm of the spirit. What will I do? When I discover that I cannot read my Bible, what will I do? When I discover that my mind had been flooded with words that does not profit God, that does not give life to me. There are things that you need to do. I want to tell you some secret things that you should do to come out from it. But don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow this and like the, 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 the message so that uh, you can uh, reach out to some to, to other person. But come back. What will it do? If you depend on your emotion to read your Bible, if you depend on your emotion to read your Bible, you might not read your Bible. If you depend on your emotion to pray, you might not pray. If you depend on your emotion to study the Bible, you might not study the Bible. If you depend on your emotion. 
to go to church. You will not go to church. 